Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape Twitter data using Power Automate and move the data to Power BI for visualization. Without wasting time, let's dive in. In order to scrape data from Twitter and put it in Power BI dataset, we need to create the backend, which this time around is the Power BI dataset. So you have to log into Power BI and you should have a Power BI account. Then on the home page, just go to the my workspace. By default, you might be landed on all or either content tab or data set tab. Just navigate to new and you have to create a streaming data set. We are designing, we are designing a data set from scratch. By default, it's on API, it's creating an API for this data set, which is a streaming data API. Click next and you're going to name it. I'm going to call this 30 days of learning because that is the kind of data I want to capture. Then we have to determine the tables. All the columns on the table we are creating right here. I'm going to start with date and you can see a schema is being generated and this is date and time and I need after the date I need tweet, I need username and then I need I can capture location. Good. So these are the four things I need and I can also switch on historic data analysis so that I don't lose historic records and the next step here is to click on create. So right now it has created my data set with four columns and that is all I need for now. Don't, you don't need to even do anything after this. Just click on done. So data set is right here, 30 days of learning. And I'm going to navigate now to Power Automate where I can then create my flow. There are two things we can do here. You can scrape historic records. You can also set up a pipeline that always updates the existing data set with the new tweet. So let's start with historic record. This is just one time thing. So I'm going to create an instant cloud flow. I'm just going to skip and name this as script, Twitter script. All right. So what do I need? Just a button that I can click on. And this is the button right here. On the click of this button, that is what I need to trigger it. And what is next? Search tweet. So if you don't know it, just go here and search for Twitter. And under actions, that comes with Twitter, you're going to see that particular one called search tweet. This is the one that can scrape because it can get tweet for you. And now that I've clicked on it, I'm going to set, is it particular term you are looking for or hashtag or username? Or no, I just need it, an hashtag, which is ng30 days of learning. Make sure of learning, 30 days of learning. Then it's going to go to Twitter and get this for me. But if you click on show advanced options, uh, it has maximum result. The limit is maximum result is 100. That's just the limitation here. And that is all I need to set. And the next step is just to add rows. So you can also search for Power BI in case you don't know the action. But right here, we're going to see the action that will enable you to add row. Add rows to a data set. I'm going to click on it. And it's asking me to select my workspace, which is actually my workspace. That is the name. And the data set is 30 days of learning. Then the tables will be real time data set. You don't set it, but that is what it is. And then we're going to see the columns on this table right now. You can see all the columns. Let us fill them up with the dynamic content coming from the search tweet. If I click on this cell, I'm going to see the data here. I need date. So I'm going to see uh, created at that is the date. It's turning everything to apply to each loop because it's more than one that is coming from there's an array and it has to iterate and loop over all of them till all the records are created. Then you go to tweet and this is the tweet text that you need, text content of the tweet, username, you're going to see username is right here and location, if I search here for location, I'm going to see location is captured. That is all I need. I'm going to save this. Since this flow is saved right now, I just have to test it manually and click on test. And while the test is running, I'm just going to rush back to my data set and click here and say create report. So that I can even see how these things are working. And right, I just need a few things. Let me just add everything to a table, tweet, and username. And it's running right now. Maybe nothing there yet. Don't worry, we're going to have everything. Let's also create a uh, this right here, just a card, just can't. Username, just can't, can't. We are not counting this thing, just can't for that for us. Uh, okay, so we have this. Let's check our flow and see. 
Oh, I have not even run it. I thought it's running already. So run flow. So everything is still empty right now. But as this flow starts running, it's going to be capturing the data and um, yeah, click done so that we can have the flow to start running. And once that is running, don't worry, this will start getting updated. I don't know how many data I can get, but the maximum we have set here is 100. So let's see if it's able to retrieve up to 100. Looking backward, um, it's currently running now, so I'm sure there will be data. Especially if I refresh here, I'm going to see some data right in. Of course, we have 28 already. And I know it's going to be more than that. So let's, let me expand this. Okay, good. And throw this down here. Right. And this, just bring this closer. Oops, look like the same. Treat being recovered. I'm going to refresh again. Oh, 61. We're 61 now. Okay. We're still going. It's still running. Yep. The flow is still running. Then uh, I'll go back here. Okay. Refresh again. Right now we have 87. Uh, what other things can. And it's still running. Oh, great. Just let's just wait and see, you know, just for the next couple, just one minute for the next couple of, oh, it's done. Two minutes to actually script on the tweet. I mean, that is not bad. And let's refresh now to see what is the total rows we're able to recover. We have 87 right here. Oh, 100. Amazing. So we have 100 tweets right here. Awesome. So this, yeah, it's not bad. And it's recovering the uh, tweet for you. But it doesn't recover more than 100. So what do you have to do next? Given that you are starting an event or a campaign and you want to keep track of this data, you don't have to even scrape back um, data in the past. You might want to set a pipeline that just get triggered anytime the hashtag you're interested in is being made use of and then get the data pushed to this data set. So let's go ahead and create yet another flow. So I'm going to write there and click on create. So that I can create this time around an automatic cloud flow. So I'm going to create automatic cloud flow and say this is also Twitter script data. Then I'm going to look for Twitter here in my trigger. Then when the tweet is posted, I'm going to click create. So by Twitter is whenever a tweet is posted using the hashtag I'm interested in, which is ng30 days of learning. The new step. I want to add rules. That's the next. Anytime someone uses that, use that hashtag, just get triggered and then add the records to that data set. So I'm going to search for Power BI. Add rules to a data set. Then I select my workspace, which is my workspace, the data set being 30 days of learning, the table being the real time data set, data. Then I'm going to show the columns. Let's fill this up again. Date, which is created at this time around, it's not throwing it to apply to it because just one tweet. This is per tweet. So the tweet is the tweet test and username. We're going to see username right here. And finally, location. I'm going to see location. Right here. So I'm going to save this. Then let us test it. Let me go ahead on Twitter and post a tweet, you know, and tweet. But before that, I need to put this in a test mode so that it can listen to that trigger. And then let's see if the data will be updated and become 101. Okay. To see it work, okay, it's ready for to be triggered. Let's go to Twitter. I have something I've done before, but let me make a tweet again and say, if you can see this tweet, it is a trigger to test my new solution. 30 days of learning. Okay. Awesome. So I've made the tweet. Let's check the tweet. Okay, this is, if you can see this tweet, it is a trigger to test my new solution. 30 days, NG, 30 days of learning. To so go back to our flow. Uh, okay, flow runs successfully. So it has listened and let's say no error. And if you go to Power BI, 
nothing is here yet but let me refresh so if i refresh will i be able to see 101 right here would there be any change in this data set yes there is so you can see uh, i can also filter arrange this by date so that we can see this particular tweet that i just that i just made all right so filter this and okay go back here i still can't but let me check it again one way or the other, uh, the ad network issue. I didn't know why I could not see the I could not see the tweet on my table. I even refreshed, but it's still not appearing, and I got a network disconnection issue. So what I'm just going to do is to rerun this, resubmit, because this time I want to show you the tweet. Uh, okay, I think I'm still having this network issue, but right here it has been updated to 101. Just I'm finding the ad to locate the tweet right there but i believe yours will definitely work as you can see we're done and anytime you make a tweet the flow will definitely run let me know what you're going to do with this new knowledge in the comment section and wish you all the best thank you and bye